Women professionals have contributed immensely to India's growth and prosperity. Women professionals across different sectors, including in health and science, are continuing to achieve different milestones each day. Today, as we look around ourselves, we find droves of ANMs, ASHAs, nurses, and women doctors, and together they comprise almost 70% of India's health workforce. And yet, when it comes to looking at the leadership positions, women remain an exception. In a group, you need diversity, and there is a diversity which comes in from the way women think. And uh, the other thing I feel is that by being there, you're setting a huge example to your younger colleagues. The representation of women is so very important because we make up 50% of the population and it's important that there is total gender diversity. And the moment we bring in gender diversity, the perspective that you have on decision making becomes totally different. So it's important that we nurture this, we ensure, we build women leaders so that they then have positions in which they could be part of the decision making. Even if men and women start out equally and you go through eight stages of progression in your career and women are two or three percent less likely to be considered for promotion, to be put forward for various things, ultimately you wind up with women constituting two percent of the top level leadership. What needs to change for them to occupy these positions? What changes need to occur, both internally and externally? Women in India grow up with a kind of social conditioning, gender stereotypes, as well as a skewed burden of home care that makes it very difficult for them to perform to their best potential in their workplace. In spite of that, uh, there, there were times when you really wish uh, that you could uh, work a little harder, stay a little longer at the office, uh, and many other things. There are many intergenerational factors that have brought us to this point, and we can do a lot right now. Today, several women and girls in India choose to study science and technology, but only a modest number pursue careers in the field, and fewer still make it to leadership positions. India recognizes this and the government is making consistent investments through its institutions. The Department of Biotechnology and BIRAC have implemented several initiatives that provide opportunities and recognition to budding women scientists. Simply put, these efforts will inspire young women to pursue careers in science, technology, engineering and maths or STEM, leading to a workforce and eventually a leadership that is diverse and inclusive. In my opinion, women need a judgment and bias-free environment. And secondly, this, uh, the efforts being made by the women researcher, especially by women entrepreneurs, should be viewed with the same lens. I actually think that this is the time that we need to empower more and more women people in the leadership position so that the India becomes a superpower of whatever Honorable Prime Minister is proud of. So women makes a transformational difference to the lives of people and because of their relevance, presence and their own uh, realizations which are very society embedded, they actually have a tremendous amount of role to play in what the future of this country is about. It is commendable to see initiatives aimed at educating, developing and retaining women in STEM.